up in the wave of wildcat strikes sweeping parts of Britain in support of protesters at the Lindsay Oil Refinery in Lincolnshire. Workers are angry at the use of foreign labour. Many in Westminster see their argument as legitimate, but others argue that there is no room in the Britain's economy for protectionism. Here's Hugh Pym. Thank you, gentlemen. The volume is rising in this debate, both outside the Lindsay Oil Refinery, where demonstrators again voiced their opinions about the use of foreign workers, and at Westminster, where a Labour MP has tabled a motion calling for future major projects to use primarily British workers. There's hardly anyone in the country who thinks it's rational and reasonable that we should be paying unemployment benefit to British construction workers and then flying in people from abroad to do the same work that British workers will do for the same pay and do equally well. It's clearly a nonsense and this needs sorting and it needs sorting very, very quickly. The British Jobs for British Workers debate has taken a new twist today with a focus on the Olympic site here in East London. Fewer than two-thirds of the workers here are British. But as is often the case with this issue, the situation is more complex than it seems. Another quarter of the workforce are from Ireland and other European Union nations, the rest from outside the EU. The head of the Olympic Delivery Authority told me this reflected the capital's diverse population. We are in London. London is very diverse and we have uh, a large 63% British passport holders and the rest are people living and working in London, who, many of whom will have been here a long time and are entitled to work in the UK. Employers fear that if the shutters are pulled down on foreign workers, there will be retaliation by the UK's competitors, the sort of protectionist action which in the past has damaged major economies. They argue companies need the freedom to recruit at home and abroad. For the great majority of companies, what they're looking at, at is actually getting hold of the skills they need. Often they can't find all the specialist skills they need from the home market, and they have to look abroad as well as looking at home. So the business secretary, Lord Mandelson, has to weigh up the interests of business and the demands of British workers for jobs to be secured in a recession. He'll have to tread carefully. Hugh Pym, BBC News. The BBC is considering the future of the TV presenter and journalist.